Welcome back Affinity Designers. This episode we're creating a non-photo blue style to apply to any drawing, sketch, or image that you've imported before you go to the inking stage of your comic book. Let's jump in. To give you an idea of what we're going to create, here's a comic strip by George Harriman called Crazy Cat, and I just took the black and white artwork and quickly converted it to a blue line with a click of a button. In Pixel Persona, select a brush and just do a quick scribble, then right click on the object and select Layer Effects. With the color overlay checked, we're going to open up the color swatch and using the HSL sliders we're going to set the values to 180, 70, and 55. We're also going to go to the blend mode and select screen to start with. Once you've closed out of the layer effects menu go ahead and go to the style studio and from the drop down menu select add style from selection. Right click on the style to rename it. Let's call this screen just so it's obvious what our base mode is. We're going to be changing and playing around with the modes in a bit. Here are a bunch of objects, both uh, vector objects that I created in designer mode and also some pixel objects. I'm just going to start clicking and applying the uh, style we created. And you'll notice that whenever there's a dark color, it changes nicely into the blue, but light colors uh, are going to go to white and mid-range colors like this um, orange are going to have a kind of a pinky color. This is a function of the screen mode that we used. Um, and so if you open up the layer effects option again, just cycle through those five light um, options from light and all the way down to lighter color. And you will usually find that one of those works. We're going to sh I'll show you in a second why, why there's the, kind of the weirdness for certain colors. You might be wondering why we set up the style in the pixel persona, and that's because the styles um, is one of the few studios that that transfers between both the um, designer and the pixel personas. Additionally, when you add a style, uh, a, a layer effect to a pixel object, it doesn't retain any color information, unlike if I did that with a uh, designer vector object, not only would it would it take the overlay, but it also grab the, any stroke or color that I had and then apply that. So we don't want that. We just, we just want the layer effect applied and that's all. Um, by doing it this way, we can apply it to any object, um, either pixel or vector. I added the levels adjustment to that comic page just to increase some of the contrast and try to uh, remove some of the residual color. The goal of the blue line is to convert a pencil sketch um, into a lighter version for inking purposes, either for printing and inking by hand, or just uh, so you can see your black digital inks more clearly. This table just shows um, how general colors are changed by the various blending modes. If you prefer, you can make another style, and this time when you scribble, drop the layer opacity to 50% before uh, doing the color overlay and then when you save that into your style menu save it as 50% just so you can differentiate it from the screen version and um, this just uh, again knocks the color back less, a little less intense so you can see your inks better and here's just a little comparison of the two for reference. In addition to some of the artwork by Jack Kirby I used artwork by Todd Nock to illustrate the effect and I'll link to his artwork um, and his YouTube channel in the description. Also, Jimmy Reyes provided the values for the HSL sliders in his video that was for Photoshop. So um, thanks to him, and I'll give a link to that video as well from Page One Comics. And finally, comicbookplus.com has a whole collection of public domain comics that's worth checking out. Um, I'll include that in the description as well. Hope you learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like this content. Um, drop me a comment or a question. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.